Welcome to the Mechanic Desk help videos. In this tutorial, we will show you how to override the default account integration settings for purchases and sales when syncing with Xero. To view the default account settings, log into the Mechanic Desk site, click on the Settings button, then the Accounting Integration tab, and the list appears under the Accounts subheading. Note the default settings for sales or invoice and purchases or bills. In the case of purchases, there are two methods to override default account settings and the first also applies to sales. The first method to override the account setting for purchases is available when entering details for a new bill. In this example, Let's say we wish to allocate our purchase to our advertising account. Click on the plus new button, then on the new bill link and enter the relevant details. Note the field labeled expense purchase account. Click inside it to reveal a list from which to select another account, in this case advertising. Click continue to proceed to the next screen. Then click on the item link to enter the relevant details. Click on save, then finalize and the purchase will appear in zero. To see the purchase in zero, select the accounts tab, click on the purchases link, then the awaiting payment tab. Click on the bill name to see its details. Note the account name as per the account selected earlier. The second method is to alter the settings associated with the items themselves. Click on the Inventory and Suppliers button to see the list of stock items available to purchase. Select one and click on it to view the purchase and sale accounts associated with that stock item. They will match the defaults we saw earlier. For each account option, we will change the setting to override the defaults when making purchases or sales with our sample item. To initiate a new purchase, click on the plus new button, then on the new bill link and enter the relevant details. Click on the continue button, then add the item to it. Click on save, then the finalize link to integrate it with Xero. If we look in the Purchases section on Xero and click on the Awaiting Payment tab, we see the new bill listed. Click on it to confirm that the item is linked to the account we set earlier to override the default. Now we'll demonstrate overriding the default account settings for a sale. Remember, we set the integration to a different account earlier for our sample item. Click on the plus new button, then the new invoice link and enter the relevant owner and vehicle details. Click on continue, then the plus item link on the next page to add details for the sample item. Click on save, then finalize to sync the new invoice with zero. In zero, click on the accounts button, click on the sales link then the Awaiting Payment tab, and the invoice will appear in the list. Click on the new invoice to confirm that it is integrated with the account that was set to override the default.